Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Thanks for joining me. Uh, this is actually my first Facebook Live for this uh, group, for my Create with Carol group. So thanks again for joining me. I just wanted to come on and do some projects with you all. Tonight was supposed to be my uh, open studio night that I like to have once a month where everybody can come and work on their uh, scrapbooks, their card making, paper pumpkin, whatever projects that they're in the middle of. And we can't do that right now, obviously, right? We're all isolating. So I'm missing all of you. And I thought I could get online and I could work on the make and takes that normally I would give to everybody who came to my event tonight. So what one of the things I wanted to use is the Please Just Punch Designer Series Paper. I love it because it matches four of our different punches. So it's very versatile. Plus, when I send out... Uh, the make and take packets for you there's not so much stamping and you can use uh, any type of sentiment that you have at home that that will work so today's projects use um, the cards that we can send out at this time this is perfect right now everybody's uh, isolating at home hopefully uh, except those of you who we really need to be working so thank you to all of you who who are working if you're one of our needed needed people to help us right now um, so let me, I'm going to move the camera down. And so you might want to close your eyes for a second while I do that. Again, I'm, I'm not overly great at this yet, so it might wobble a little bit. So, so hang tight with me, okay? So what I've done is I've brought it down. And what I'm hoping that you're seeing are the Please This Punch designer papers. And so this one matches our heart uh, punch pack and then our umbrella builder over here and our tulip builder punch. And then over here we have um, our thoughtful bloom punch that it matches. This is actually a free punch from Celebration. So remember Celebration ends next Tuesday. So all of your purchases uh, count towards earning free product with every $50 of purchase that you have. So I wanted to show this beautiful paper. I just love it. The back side is actually pretty as well. So you're going to see some of these back sides used today as well as the front for our projects. So let me put that aside. And I'm going to show you that we have our first card and I apologize, I found out today, evidently, if you don't have an Apple phone, everything's gonna be backwards. So I apologize for that. So the writing on this card is gonna be backwards and when I open it, it sure will as well. Um, but this first card you can see uses the Umbrella Builder Punch, but I punched out from the designer paper uh, for the umbrella itself. And I also punched out these five flowers from the designer paper. So it's kind of a cool thing. So in your packet, you will receive everything needed to make this project. The only thing is you'll, you'll receive a white circle, but I'll need you to stamp something that you have at home on that yourself. So my sentiment says, rain or shine, you're always on my mind. So isn't that perfect right now? We've got so many people on our minds that, that we can't see in person, but we can talk to on the phone. We can send them lots of cards. We can video chat with them, hopefully. Uh, and these are from the set. Again, this will be backwards. I, pro I apologize. These are from the set under my umbrella, which is the stamp set that coordinates with uh, the umbrella builder punch. So that's kind of a nice, nice thing for you. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start making this one. And I do have a second project as well. And, and also a pillow gift. Because everybody likes a pillow gift. So... I like to send those out for my orders. So what I've done is I have my half a sheet of cardstock. This is balmy blue. I've scored it and now I'm just folding it in half. And I'll put this one right here. Hopefully you can see that. I have a one inch uh, by five and a quarter inch uh, piece of the designer series paper. Has the umbrellas on one side and then the raindrops on the other get my snail so I'm just going to add here this cute piece with the raindrops 
onto another piece of balmy blue. This is five and a quarter by four. And I ran it through our subtle embossing folder to give it just a little texture for us. But I'm gonna put this right at the end of it, right on the edge, I should say. And then our flax ribbon is really nice. It, it's soft and very pliable. So I know that if I put adhesive all the way around the outside, on the back side, but all the way around the edge, I know that I'll be able to put my ribbon around and just let it adhere on the back. So then what I usually do is just put a little extra right here. Now I want to put this right on my cardstock front. So I'm going to try to do down today for you. Again, not my strong suit, but let's see how we do. So once we have that on there, we're just building up, right? So now we've got our little cup. This is the cutest darn thing. So I have a little cup of all these umbrellas that I punched out of the designer paper. So I think we'll use this one. And then I also punched out of the Granny Apple Green the little um, umbrella handle. And this is what the umbrella builder punch looks like. So you can see it has the large umbrella. It has one that's kind of semi folded up like a parasol and then a handle. So I've punched those out. I also punched out a bunch of the flowers from the designer paper. And this one uses the thoughtful blue, or excuse me, small bloom punch. I apologize. That's Small Bloom Punch, again, this punch is free, uh, is a free celebration item. And so I punched out a bunch of the cute flowers so we can kind of pick and choose what we want to do. So what I did here is I took a glue dot and put it on the end of my umbrella handle. And I just put that up under in the middle here, give or take. So now we have our umbrella for our card. But I want to have a couple flowers, and there's really no wrong colors to use because they're also stinking cute, and they kind of fly away a little bit. So I'm going to put a couple right here on underneath the umbrella, kind of hidden a little bit, but I just think it'll be kind of cute. And let me put a second one under there. Again, just using glue dots just to kind of hide them. So you can kind of see what I've done there. Now I want to put some dimensionals on the back because I want to pop up this umbrella on the front of the card. So dimensionals will work great. It'll hold all the pieces together. You can see I've kind of lined up over where the pieces overlap and that will help hold them down as well. So this little umbrella, I just kind of had here, there's no wrong or right, just down there. Perfect. And uh, this piece in Blushing Bride is from the Painted Labels dies, which goes with the Poppy Suite, but it just looks so cute, I thought it would be nice. So I'm going to stamp on that with my balmy blue ink and again this saying says rain or shine you're always on my mind but you could put any saying you wanted anything that you have at home so here's my little circle we'll just stamp upside down but again I know you can't read that I apologize and then I'm going to Put my snail on that and adhere it to my pink circle. Anywhere you like will work because when you put on this Blushing Bride circle, you'll be able to move it however you'd like. So again, I'm going to use more dimensionals because I like things that pop up. Makes them a little bit more dramatic, I think. So we like that. So let's put that down. Bring our card back. 
And again, no wrong or right, just whatever you like. Leave some room to put a few little flowers up top. And we can pick out, I've got a purple flower. Let's see, what I did here is I used glue dots on the two outside ones. And I used a dimension to pop up this middle. Do that again. No wrong or right, it's just whatever you like. That's the best thing about card making, I think, is you just get to do what you like and what works for you. In my classes, I love to see when people a lot bit, I should say. <laughs> that works too. Um, I, I'm just looking for a blue flower here. Here we go. Uh, I think it's fun when they make something that my brain never even thought of. So it's just fun to see the differences that that we all can can come up with even with the same same product and the same pieces of of cardstock and designer paper there so this card is so simple you're gonna love it but I wanted to add a little extra bling because we always need a little bling in our lives right so I'm just using some of our basic jewel rhinestones and I'm just gonna put a few on these flowers how cute are they? So what I planned for this week, since I wouldn't be getting able to see anybody, and is I thought that I could send out the project kit for this card and the next card I'm going to make. Oops, that one I kind of hit a little bit, didn't I? Can't really see the center. Um, I'll send out the project kits for this card and the next card with all orders over $35. So I'll be sure and put all that info when I post this uh, uh, video. So you'll know what to do to order. You also, if you wanna bump up your order to $50, you'll be able to choose a celebration item. Um, the Pleases Punch paper that we're using, this designer paper, is uh, a specialty coordination paper and it's only on sale through uh, March 31st. So after next Tuesday, it's going to go bye-bye, and it's just fun. It's just fun to have, fun to have with the punches if you own them and things like that. It's just a nice add-on. Now, I like to finish off my card by stamping the inside and the envelope. So what I've done here is this was my envelope, and you can see what I've done on this card for the inside. So I stamp some little raindrops and I stamp the rain boots and the same thing on the envelope. That way, to me, that the card's not so naked. <laughs> it, it just completes it for me. So I, I like to do that. So if you like to do that, feel free. When you receive your package of goodies in the mail, you will receive all of these pieces. You will need to stamp on the little white circle that'll be in your packet. And you will also receive an envelope and your inside white piece if you choose to stamp on it. That's great. Okay, so there's our first card. I hope you enjoyed that one. So let me put a couple things away here and then we'll grab the second card. I did forget to tell you that the uh, the white circle that's in your kit, that will be in your kit and that I used today is from the layering circles. So it's the same size white circle for both cards. So you won't be able to get that confused. If you have a punch, good enough. This circle is a little bit smaller than two inches and so it just fit well and I wanted to use that so that's where that came from so now let me get this next one over here and it uses the tulip punch built tulip builder punch and it uses uh the actual tulips from the paper from the designer paper as well as the leaves from the designer paper so I think that's kind of cool let me show you a sample. And here's what this card looks like. So it's very simple. This striped piece of designer paper is also from the paper pack from the Pleases Punch. I punched the tulip, the leaves from the uh, designer paper with, let me get that punch to show you, with the designer, uh, excuse me, with the tulip builder punch. The friend, I wanted to give you something in case you didn't have any stamps. And again, this is a great card to send to people who you're not able to see right now. So I cut out the friend die, 
from the well uh well written framelit set from the dies so many different words so fun it's a great set to have and as you can see i just picked the fringe today to use so the timeless tulip stamp set goes with this card is what i used actually for the inside and for the envelope and i'm sorry i'm i'm watching a little bit on my tablet it looks like i'm not giving you the full picture i apologize so those are the stamp sets that I used, and you can see what I how I stamped on the inside with Blushing Bride and Granny Apple Green ink. But this is the front, so we're going to make this one now. So I've got all my pieces ready, and again, I also used the Subtle 3D embossing folder on this one. I tried to tried to use a lot of the same. Um, bits of product for you. So this card is going to go horizontal. So what I want to do first is to get some snail on this little strip. Again, one inch by five and a quarter, same size as the raindrop strip that we used on our other card. And... I hope that's straight again it's upside down but I think it's going to be straight and it's the same thing put the strip on and now I'm just going to put my adhesive all the way around on the back side and use that same flax ribbon because it's just so soft and pretty and white I love that it's white it just kind of reminds me this card reminds me of spring getting into summer I live in Phoenix and it's been kind of chilly, I will say. Um, not our normal March. Usually it's very warm by now, but not this year. Okay, so then let's put this piece onto the front of our card. And, oopsie. My finger got stuck on the adhesive. <laughs> okay, let's do that. Good to go. And then I used the same circle die for the white as our other card. And then I wanted to do something behind that to kind of make that pop. So I ended up using the starboard punch in the Blushing Bride. So I'm just going to glue that down. And then I'll be able to put this over uh, the ribbon with some dimensionals. But I'll put the dimensionals at the top and just one at the bottom so then it can straddle this ribbon and not get all cattywampus. And that will help it lay, lay nicely. Alrighty, so we'll put this on and then we're going to put our tulips together. Again, no wrong or right. If you want to put it on the other side, go for it. Okay, so our tulip, maybe we'll do got lots of pink. Let's see. We can do a purple one today. How about that? And a couple of green pieces. Now, the green pieces, you'll see, so these ones match. So I want to try to find one from the other side. Of course, right now they're all this side. <laughs> Got my little bowl here. I'm looking through. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's see. There we go. There's one for that side and one for this side. Okay. And lots of tulip color choices. So today we're going to use the purple one on this card. So what I did is I just took one of the uh, glue dots and I put it on this bottom part because right now I'm just trying to build this, this tulip how I like it. And so you can see I've got a glue dot on the bottom there and I just thought that'll be a good spot and I can kind of pull it out if I want to adjust it. 
Same thing for the other side, just a glue dot right along the bottom. And again, this is almost kind of a temporary thing just because I want to be able to play with it. And here you can see I can kind of still pull them out if I want to adjust it. Once I have the tulip and the leaves how I like it, then I'm going to flip it over and go back to my dimensionals. And remember, the di dimensionals are really good because they'll kind of hold where your borders are. So I like that because I don't have to worry about any other adhesive other than what I'm using. So the dimensionals are going to hold the leaves onto the tulip. And then we'll just be able to, oopsie, put it right on here. Just like that. Okay, so we've got our friend. We want this to go down here, right? So, well, I do. You can choose to wherever to put yours. So I'm just going to use a little bit of our liquid uh, multi-purpose glue. And sometimes it's going to be a little messy. So I'm just kind of just using a little bit. I don't want to use too much. The nice thing about this glue is that if any does seep out, onto my project, it dries clear. And when you send this card, the person won't even know. They'll just be so happy to get such a pretty card from you. More importantly, they'll wanna look at your note, I'm sure, what you've written on the inside. But it's just nice to try to keep in touch with those people right now that we're used to seeing and those far away, just to check on them and make sure they're okay. So I'm just going to glue this down. Hope that's can't really tell upside down if that's straight, but hopefully. And then what's a card without bling? That is just a naked card. We have got to put a little bit more bling on here. Now I just need there's my bling. Okay. So I thought it would be fun just to make one the the little dot for the eye. So now that that's covered. And then we'll just, just sprinkle some. You can put three, you can put five. Generally, people say when you put the bling on, it's best to do it in odd numbers. So I usually do three, sometimes I do five. Um, it just helps our eyes balance out the project. That's all. Okay, then again on this friend card, we have the inside that I stamped the tulip and the leaves on from and that was from the timeless tulip set if you don't have that set it's okay if you want to order it that's awesome you can get the bundle with the tulip punch um, but you can find something that you have at home because right now I just want you crafting I want you having fun and finding a way to to keep in touch with all of your friends so I wanted to show you one more one more thing that I made and again, because uh, this is in, in place of my class I was doing tonight, so I have an ordering special. And right now that ordering special is all orders that I receive between today and March 30th will have, well, excuse me, will receive by mail uh, the packet kits to make these two cards. The other thing that I will be sending with those orders is this cute little thank you gift. We call them pillow gift in the Stampin' Up! world. Um, and it's just a little cute little box that says hello. And inside this little, little cute little treat are two mini Tic Tacs. Uh, Tic Tac little boxes, I should say. More than two. Each one has, I don't know, seven or eight Tic Tacs in it. But I just made this cute little holder for them. And I just wanted to, to have something to send you to be able to say thank you so much for your orders. The other thing I want you to know is, is this month for March... I have a 16 project tutorial in addition that everybody who places a order $35 or more uh, will receive that tutorial via email. So I'll be sending those out on the first. So just so you know, it'll be a couple days, but then you'll be able to get that. So um, let's see. Let me tilt you back. So close your eyes maybe for a minute. I don't want to make you make y'all wobbly. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. I really appreciate it. I think next week I'm going to do this again. I was supposed to have a card class next week, which obviously is uh, rescheduled to a virtual class. So I think that what I'm going to do is uh, work with the new Ornate Garden suite that Stampin' Up! has. It's going to be in our new annual catalog. 
which will come out in June. But Stampin' Up! has uh, offered it to us as demos. We could order it this month. But everybody else will be able to order it as of March, or excuse me, as of April 1st. And it's, again, it will be in the new annual catalog for the whole next year. But it's really a fun set. Here's a couple of the stamp sets. I've been making lots of cards. When Hetty was here last week, we made a ton of different cards. So I have a lot of fun things to show you with it. Um, so I thought that might be fun. So I'll do a couple projects with that suite. And that will be instead of my card class. So that will be next Friday at 1 o'clock. And um, let's see. What else do I have to tell you guys? I have a project sheet with the supplies for the projects today, so I'll be posting that for you, and you can print that off, and if you receive the kits in the mail because you placed an order, then you'll be able to have that project sheet that mentions the supplies and things that I used, but no, you can always substitute what you have at home. Um, if you'd like to place an order or you need help, call me, email me, uh, send me a Facebook message. That's, of course, anytime. I'm, I'm more than happy to help. I know sometimes... We're used to placing orders in classes and maybe not using the online system. So I'm happy to help you with that. Um, let's see. Other than that, I'm just, again, I'm so grateful for you guys. I wish you all well and lots of health. Some of you knew that my daughter Kaylee and her husband Stephen and their almost six-month-old baby Everett were supposed to move to Ireland this past week. On Well, two days ago on Wednesday. So they moved in with us last Saturday. Their flights were canceled. And then they rebooked and those flights were canceled. So they're here today. They were gracious enough to go away for a little while so that I could do this live. But they, um, it's been so much fun having them here. Nobody, everything's, as you know, as I'm sure your lives are, everything is up in the air. We don't know what's happening. They're going to try to get to Ireland, but I'm not sure when that's going to happen. So, so we're just enjoying having them here and a little baby underfoot. It's, it's been such a blessing. Uh, but it's it's different than what we're used to in our little little cozy lives without any kids, our empty nest lives, I should say. So uh, if you call me or you message me and I don't respond for an hour or two and you're thinking, that's not like Carol, it's because my life is a little different right now. And sometimes I'm helping both my daughter, her husband, and my husband, obviously, are home working. They're all engineers. And so they're busy working and doing meetings and I'm helping out with the baby, obviously, when I can and things like that to help them. So uh, so just know that I just wish you all lots of love and, and health and happiness. And I'm excited to uh, dive into this Facebook Live world, which I'm a little, little nervous, but I appreciate you guys for everything. So I look for me. I'm going to try to do this again next Friday. That's my goal is to do it next Friday at 1 o'clock. And I'll have a couple projects with a new Ornate Garden Suite. And maybe I'll pop in before then. Again, it just depends how life at the Hickman house is happening. So <laughs> take care, everybody. I really appreciate you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.